Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of your Wheel and Anchor weekly newsletter. Well, COVID-19 continues to spread and infiltrate our society in ways that we could never have even imagined just a few weeks back. Those of us who are travelers are feeling the particular pain from all of our plans evaporating as airlines drastically cut back on their routes and cruise line uh, cancel sailings and the aftermath of all of this is really quite unknown. You can rest assured that we are working very hard for those of you who booked trips with us in the next couple of months to uh, find alternatives and see what is going to happen. And at the same time, you know, we try to stay optimistic that uh, this will pass and that uh, travel will return to normal at some point, hopefully in the foreseeable future. It's having uh, a toll not only on uh, ourselves here, we've had to downsize slightly, um, but we're hoping to maintain um, the rest of our team for uh, as long as we can. Uh, and again, looking forward to, to better days to come. So we've made a decision that we're going to continue with our series of webinars, partly because uh, you, we, we don't need to add more to all of the discourse uh, about COVID-19. The, the media is doing an adequate job, I think, covering uh, that. And so uh, we thought we'd give our members something to uh, look forward to. Um, and, and as I say, we will be continuing on with our series of webinars. And this coming week on Tuesday, uh, we'll be covering Newfoundland. And uh, when we had our recent Trip Inspirations survey uh, that we did late last year, uh, we found that Newfoundland was actually at the top of the list uh, of places that um, our members would like to travel. And I know from those of you who I've spoken with that have been to Newfoundland, um, you've come back with some uh, great memories of, of, of that province. And, you know, it's, we've all heard a lot about Newfoundland uh, thanks to the, uh, the efforts of the Newfoundland and Labrador Tourism Board that have made some great commercials and so on. Not to mention uh, the musical Come From Away that has really put the province on the map. Uh, and so the first of a couple of programs that we're planning to offer um, will be happening this coming September. And we're going to be doing a uh, short, a Wheel and Anchor weekend, actually, that is going to focus on the west side of Newfoundland, uh, where we're going to be uh, flying into Deer Lake. Uh, and from there, exploring this spectacularly beautiful Gromorn National Park. Um, if you haven't um, already seen pictures of that, it's really one of the most beautiful uh, places in Canada. And we'll be doing some traveling up and down uh, the West Coast over a short five-day trip that'll give us a taste of what this spectacular province is all about. So, uh, of course, the other benefit is, is that it's um, here close to home, uh, and, and given that we so far seem to be uh, ahead of the game uh, as far as this virus fight is concerned, I think that um, it should garner a lot of interest um, from those of you who are um, particularly concerned about uh, traveling outside the country in the short term. So um, join us for that webinar this coming Tuesday uh, and uh, at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time at our usual time and uh, we look forward to sharing with you about Newfoundland. In the meantime, um, I want to extend my appreciation to all those members who have sent us some very encouraging emails um, over the last week or so. Uh, you can well imagine the pressure that we've all been feeling uh, in trying to satisfy everyone's uh, concerns, particularly those of you who are um, due to be traveling with us in the near future. So thank you very much for that. Um, at this time, it really does feel like the community um, that we had intended it to be. So on that note, um, my final uh, advice, please do heed the advice of the authorities uh, as it relates to this crisis. And I know that it is a challenge for some, particularly those of you who uh, perhaps don't have uh, as many um, um, as much access to to, uh, to to people around, and when they when they tell you to um, you know social distancing and, and, and to keep your uh, to keep away from other people, and I think that you need to uh, really understand exactly what that means um, and utilize technology, just like you know we do these webinars, and I can come to you from. Um, from a distant part of the world uh, and talk to you as if I was uh, right there uh, in the room next to you. You can do the same and we're looking at ways as well um, for our members to connect with each other so that um, you know those of you that are, that are living alone don't have to um, have to feel so isolated in these times when we really do have to practice um, all of those things that are being um, highly recommended um, by the health authorities. So 
Um, that's my final word. I look forward to hearing from you more uh, in the coming days and weeks. And uh, we'll be back with you again uh, next week.